Right, so uh, here's my little pony again. Uh, this one is called Equestrian Doom, and it's by Josh the Fox. Uh, I'm not anticipating this being as violent as last time I played My Little Pony, which is a weird sentence to say, but I do want to give the warning that if you are sitting your early school children down to watch this and it's come up on the rotation of My Little Pony videos, please stop it now. Uh, all right, we can choose some characters. Uh, we've uh, we've only got one finished just now, Jocelyn. I recognise all the others. Twilight, Rainbow Dash, Fluttershy, Pinkie Pie, and uh, the other one. I know a lot more about My Little Pony since, uh, in the two years that I've been watching it with Penny since the last time I played this. And we are going to start with uh, Intro. And the difficulty levels have been changed as well. I love this. The bloodshed is magic right at the very top. Uh, let's go to Ready to Die, which is kind of... Uh, at odds with the My Little Pony theme, but let's try anyway. All right, we are Jocelyn. I, like I said, I don't recognize this uh, character, but uh, I'm not all that deep into the My Little Pony uh, backstory and lore yet. All right, we have a short tutorial, uh, which uh, will be very welcome. Look how short I am! Uh, at times you'll see lines of text being at the bottom of the screen, the same as this text, for example. I've got to get out of here. Okay. That sounds nice and, uh, oh, this is your character's thoughts. Interacting with certain objects, picking up certain weapons, and walking across invisible triggers will cause your character to think something. The lines of text will always be white and can be ignored with no penalty. Okay. Anything else coming? Oh, the... Th this is, this is really ambitious. I saw that, uh, oh, that's just walk out the door. Okay. Uh, you can jump on, uh, okay, jumps enabled. We happens to be able to drive Oh, well, I like that, using the uh, sector actions. Uh, okay. This is the easiest jail I've ever escaped from. Ponies cannot crouch, however, your small height will allow you to get into any cramped spaces. Okay. And, no, can't go there. Someone's lit candles in the vents. That's uh, very nice of them. Um, go that way. Oh. And that's the exit. Um... I'd be an idiot to jump down here. Oh, no, I can't. That's good. All right. And let's exit. What's around? Oh! Halfway up the staircase, you used to come to a stop to get your bearings and assess the situation. The creatures that kidnapped you didn't seem very friendly. The very thought makes your stomach turn, but you'll probably have to fight your way out of this place. You did find the hatchet down there, so you have at least have some way to defend yourself. <laughs> Holding hatchet in their mouth and just whacking away with it. Uh, you find that weird object. Closer examination reveals it to be some kind of projectile shooting weapon. I'm glad you were pointing it away from your face when you discovered that. Uh, you'll need to have it examined by a team of proper scientists once you get back home. Ooh, look, listen to that. Not going back there. A partially empty magazine of 0.45 ACP. Do that. Is it a Colt 45? I really hope it is. Oh, guards facing the wrong way. Ah, that's a custom uh, Zombie Man sprite as well. Little hearts on the. This is E1M1! So I wonder uh, what Hell's Demons have uh, got to do with My Little Pony. Oh. I, I didn't think that was a door, I was just checking it for a secret. There we go. A double-bladed chainsaw! Is this the one from uh, Doom on the N64? All right, well, we'll, uh, we'll remember that. Oh, it has the double-bladed chainsaw I'm holding in my teeth. Hop, hop, hop. Okay. UAC Golden Bear. Lever action shotgun. How'd you reload with it in your mouth? Um. I actually I feel quite vulnerable being this small. It's like everything's really big. Not really all that different from how I am in real life, honestly.
All right, have we reached the exit already? We've got the blue key card. That looks like a blue door. We're okay. We've only found one out of four secrets. I haven't really been jumping up and down. This uh, remake of the uh, Doom music is fantastic, by the way. I wonder who did that. There's a different wall there. Oh. A shard of nano armor. A health drink. A harmony potion. Another health drink. Okay. So those will be armor uh, pieces and the uh, uh, health potions from Doom. Uh, computer generated auto map. Let's see if I can see it. Yes, okay. Oh no, that'll be the exit. Um, three out of four secrets. Not bad. Here we go. This is really good as well. Uh, shipping and receiving. So, yeah, the readme uh, I was given with this said that uh, you might think a partial conversion is really ambitious for a first Doom project. So, And I am impressed that this is a first Doom project, but I understand your feelings exactly because I got back to Doom mapping in 2016 and immediately did my own partial conversion. It was meant to be one map, and then I discovered what GZ Doom could do, and then I added some new uh, enemies from Realm 67, and then I thought I'll try making one of my own, and then by the end I'd replaced about half the game. So it is very addictive, and I think you're using it very well so far. Oh, that's weird. It said only opened remotely, but then... Uh... And I do appreciate that message, by the way, even though it uh, seemed not to matter in the end here. Uh, acknowledges that you tried the door instead of just uh, flat out refusing. Every time I hear a guitar piece like this, it wants me. Uh, I, I really want to get my own guitar hooked up again and uh, trying to record that. I've always, I've never had any luck with recording the guitar. It always sounds absolutely terrible, no matter what I do. And I think it might be a skill issue. Uh, that's why I use uh, the Shredder library so much because I'm just uh, so much better at the keyboard. I say so much better. I'm terrible at that as well, but it's less obvious. Oh, wow, this is fast. Doesn't quite go through ammunition at the same rate I thought either. Oh, I really didn't need to take that just now. Still. Seems to be a lot of... Uh, dark little pony stuff and it's um it's kind of what i see in a lot of uh furry adjacent uh things that we take these things that we love them and we try to make them grow up with us so my little pony comes becomes dark and violent and a lot of the uh sonic fandom is like that as well and that did become quite dark and violent uh in the uh Satan cartoon, which is the most terrifying concept uh, robotization I've ever witnessed from a children's cartoon. Um, and what was the other? Oh yeah, uh, Sonic, uh, not Forces, Prime. Which, oh, I can, can I get under there? It looks like it's stuck. Uh, Sonic Prime, which uh, really reminded me of uh, the time in Reboot, about the end of second series, where the writer the writers just went mad and killed everyone. <laughs> and I think it was because they'd been... Uh, their contract had ended with one uh, channel and they were then free to do more of what they wanted Reboot to be. I'm 
totally lost. It, it, it's a, such a small area, but uh, I suppose it feels bigger because uh, the character's shorter. Where are you? Forgetting that I have jump available. Teleporter access them. Teleporter? Oh! Can you read this? Yes, I can! I want to help you. Go through the teleporter. Alright. Oh, we're getting a storyline! Alright, where's my mysterious benefactor? Going. Oh, but yeah, here, but you need to trust me, okay. The silence is eerie. I was told the first three maps are finished, but I'm not sure if that includes the tutorial map. Yeah, I think I think this one might be unfinished just because of the lack of music and lack of enemies, but uh I, I want to press on anyway, just to see what's there. Ah. So this indicates to me that the uh, Hell's Demons were in some way expected or controlled. If they were capturing them. Uh oh. Uh, let's... Whoa! I thought for a moment I'd press the wrong button, but uh, but this uh, extreme rapid-fire rifle is on the, is on two. Looks like we're going for the chainsaw. Don't know why the chainsaw was selected there when I had ammunition for all the other weapons. Look at the uh, HUD, by the way. That's uh, quite uh, nice. Um, Sapphire Skalky. Well, what do I have? I've got a Crimson card. Um, nothing up here. I went through there. That's that's blue. That's blue. It's sapphire. Sorry. Um, there's the red door. Oh, okay. And this will be arachnophobia. Demonic presence is high. Please be careful. Okay. So we, <laughs> the demons have stolen the door. Um. Yeah, this looks very intriguing. I think it works really well so far. Uh, I know that it does sound ambitious to do a partial conversion for your first Doom project, but you've made it work really well. I am intrigued by the storyline, and I really hope to play this again once it, once it's a bit uh, more full-featured. It is very easy. It's it's uh, worth noting that. I was on Ultra Violence, or the equivalent of it, which is uh, uh, not to hell back ready to die, uh, and I really breezed through it. Uh, so you, you could possibly afford to remove a few health packs or something, but it's once again, it's the start of the game. It's possible that this is intended and it's going to ramp up later. <sighs> okay, so what an interesting thing to be submitted. Thank you for submitting that, and uh, like I said, I'd love to see it progress.